It is soon going to be 90 days since Russia chose to invade Ukraine. Criticism and sanctions have done very little to end the war. As cities fell in Russia's control, residents and local fighters have been held captive. And some have even been brought to Russia as prisoners. So authorities in Kiev are trying to strike a deal with Moscow on how to bring Ukrainians back home. Because reports suggest they are not being treated fairly and might even face tribunals. But Russia seems to have a different plan. The top negotiator has said that his country will only consider exchanging the prisoners if an aide of President Vladimir Putin is released. The man we are talking about is Viktor Medvedchuk. He is a 67-year-old wealthy Ukrainian businessman who is known to be close to the Russian president. Now, he escaped from house arrest after Russia's invasion, but was re-arrested by the Ukrainian forces in mid-April. Talks have been on and off since March, but they haven't proved very effective. Even then, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky believes that dialogue is the only way forward. The Kremlin tried to surround the neighboring nation from almost all sides. But after facing defeat, the war has culminated to exactly where it started, the eastern flank. Now, this is how the war looks in Ukraine right now. The majority of the eastern flank has been captured by Russian forces. And the latest win in Mariupol has extended the stretch till Kherson. There are ongoing uh, fighting in pockets of Donetsk and Luhansk. On your screens is a small city called Severodonetsk, which is a region in the uh, Luhansk Oblast. It uh, is the final Ukrainian strong point. So the Russian forces are intensifying their assaults. And because of this, Ukraine has ruled out a ceasefire or concession. То есть они делают ставку сегодня на следующую фазу войны, на та, которая сейчас происходит на востоке Украины. Они хотят зафиксировать какие-то свои военные успехи. Безусловно, у них военных успехов не будет, учитывая ту помощь, которую нам оказывают сейчас наши западные партнеры. Успехов не будет, но война немножко затянется. И, соответственно, переговорный процесс, опять же, будет актуализирован в тот момент, когда Россия наконец-то начнет понимать, что войной она свои цели, какие-то там условные цели не достигнет. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.